Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today let's look at object motion blur in Blender 2.9. Yeah, so previously we could do motion blur in Blender but it was only in camera so you can only do camera motion blur and uh, now in Blender 2.9 you can do object motion blur as you can see from the render previews here. If I pause a frame here, you can see that uh, the, the camera, there is no movement in the camera but you can see that uh, the different uh, particles here have, uh, the, they have some motion blur in them. As you can see, uh, and, uh, and let me just show you how to set up uh, that. So you just go under, so it's, I don't think it's uh, yet activate active for viewport rendering, but uh, uh, you can only see it uh, using, uh, after, after you render. So uh, you just turn it on here. It's very easy setup. You just turn it on here and in your render settings, I make sure you're using Eevee and uh, the higher the value here for the shutter speed, uh, the higher the motion blur you will achieve. So if I just do a quick render here, you can see there is nearly no motion blur. And if I increase this, uh, you can you can you start to see uh, some motion blur there. I uh, can also the 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 few other th settings here. You can see I will have background separation. So sometimes when you render motion blur you will start to see that uh, there is background smearing where the uh, motion blur starts to get smeared around the background it starts to blend into the background uh, this helps you separate the foreground elements uh, from the background by increasing uh, the background separation i also have the maximum uh, motion blur and this uh, will just uh, add more motion blur streaks uh, to your yeah to your motion blur uh, so that it lay it's a bit more lengthy uh, if uh, the speed of the objects is not uh, that high so you, and it also makes it a bit more higher quality you also have steps uh, this is just uh, like the samples you have uh, in rendering i also have that in uh, in uh, motion blur so the more steps you have uh, the more the more realistic the motion blur is but uh, that also might increase your computation time and yeah uh, this value also goes higher than uh, one, but uh, I found that uh, it crashes render sometimes if I try to render that, but I can see uh, it gives you higher, uh, it makes the motion blur more pronounced. And uh, if you start to see those, uh, because you can start, now you can see those, uh, the, the, the number of steps we have here are not enough for uh, the value of set here, so you just have to increase uh, the steps here to something high to get better quality. So you can see we are starting, we're no longer seeing those individual balls within the motion blur. So if I increase these steps even higher, let's see something like 24, uh, then render, you can see it gets better. I think uh, three would be a much better value here. Let me see if I can do a quick preview of this, quick animation preview of this. Uh, uh, and uh, it really renders really fast uh, if you're using EV, of course. Um, not sure. Cycles is cycles, you can't really do shortcuts here. Let me just show you here. Do a quick. Uh, I think this could also maybe be a bug or it's not supposed to work like this, but uh, uh, when you try to render when it's above uh, a value of one, it would just not render at all. So, but uh, yeah, so if it's a value of one, it renders, but uh, I think it's a, it's a bug, uh, but let's see 1.5, that would render. You can render it as a single image, but for animation, ah, it's actually rendering now, uh, but again, it will crash. I uh, just remember that uh, 2.9 is still in, in alpha, yeah, so it's uh, it's not very, very stable. Uh, so you might run into this issue of it just breaking all the time. Let's try two and uh, render that. Yeah, so thank you for watching. See you in the next video.